guys and girls so just a quick reminder for you to follow my twitter channel the link for it is in the description below where you'll see all my signals and all my analysis quicker than i can make these videos now let's go straight on to the bitcoin chart we're on the four hour time frame and since we made our last video there has been a lot of action that has happened last time we made the video we were in this kind of bear flag going up going up here and since then we've had this kind of massive drop in price. We smashed straight through that support level and now we were heading towards 19,800 as predicted in my last video. We've not quite reached there yet, but it looks likely that we will reach there. Um, but basically why is this all happening now? It wasn't very surprising because the United States released some PCE information uh, on August the 26th. That obviously sent the markets downhill and it isn't just a crypto thing as well. If we go onto stocks, our beloved S&P index, we can see something similar happen. You see the price absolutely tank here last Friday, so yesterday. And now we're at a very important level because the S&P is actually sitting on this line here, which has been tested as a support a couple of times. So I'll be very interested to see what happens when markets open on Monday. You can see it's been tested there and it's actually been tested twice over here in the past as well. So an interesting time for the S&P and definitely something to keep your eye on. And of course, we talk about the S&P because it is very closely correlated to the performance of Bitcoin. So let's go back onto Bitcoin now. We're on the four hour chart. And now we've kind of ranged in this level down here, close to the 19,800 level. The bat, you don't really see anything discernible from this information here. So let's go into a shorter time frame. And then we start to see patterns that reoccur. Now, what the first thing I noticed was is that we're actually printing something very similar to the last drop in price that we had to the start of this bear flag. So if we go back to this point here, you can see that in my first video on Bitcoin, I actually called this as a double bottom. It looked like a double bottom because there was two troughs here at roughly the same level. And we actually saw a well-defined neckline. Now the neckline will go to the local peak here um, before the second trough and after the first one, and it will go across. And basically the price target for that is the distance between the neckline and the level of the double bottom. And the price actually did hit that briefly at 21,800. Um, so if you just remember what this price action here looks like, what I think we are seeing is actually something very, very similar. As you can see, we already have one peak forming here. And it looks like we're about to form a second peak. And by the way, sorry guys, this is on the 15 minute time frame. So if you want to follow along as well, 15 minute time frame on the Bitcoin Teva US on Binance. Now, if we go put a neckline across like this, then you can see that actually we may be looking at another double bottom here. If we can, so what I'm looking for in the short term is for the price action to go down to this level here to form that double bottom at the 19,900 level and we'd want the price to continue upwards uh, back to the neckline here at around the 20,280 region and as soon as the price breaks through and that's where we place our buy and so once we've placed uh, a buy on bitcoin then we'd want to see our price target at this distance here between the neckline and the level of the double bottom and then our price target becomes this level here at 20,676. Now that's what I'm watching in the very very short term but of, course, but of course that isn't a guarantee this pattern isn't a guarantee to form at all and what we could see and what potentially more people think will happen is that the price will continue going downwards of course we've had this flagpole here before and the price target from that flagpole should have been around 18,900 regions so this could still be in play there's no reason that that's not in play yet and if so this price should come down here potentially test that 19,800 level a few times and then come down to 18,900 18,800 or so um 
So there is two potential outlooks there. I think this is the slightly longer term play. I think we are going to go in a bearish direction, but I'm also looking out for this pattern that's forming here because it's exactly the same as the pattern that formed over here where we had a double bottom and we could potentially be going in another bear flag. And of course, if there is another bear flag like this, then again, we can see the price drop further. So in the longer term, I'm looking at the price to ultimately touch this 18,900 level. And that's where I'll be buying Bitcoin. However, in the shorter term, I would expect us, if we do complete this double bottom pattern, to reach this level 20,600 uh, or so. Um, and basically, we could also be forming a bear flag as well. So look out for that. Make sure if you start seeing a channel form in a bullish direction, then that's exactly what we are seeing. We are seeing a bearish flag. So we will probably see a support that could look like this. So maybe that will drive the price up in the short term. However, I do think the price will likely test this 18,900 region sooner or later, particularly in September or October sometime as well. So I'm really, really looking out for what's happening in the short term right now. Um, but yeah, just a quick update video. Of course, I'm going to be updating my Twitter a lot quicker than I'll be updating in these videos. So do follow me there um, for speedier updates. Um, but otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you got this far, this was just a quick update video on what I think about Bitcoin and where I can see the short term and long term price targets. Um, and yeah, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you guys and have a great weekend.